Hey, um, I want to talk a second about, I'm going to just add this to the blacksmith community discussion and what the blacksmithing community is meant to me. Uh, I'm Gary Brown with Gary Brown Forging On. Actually, the name of my forge is Hillside View Forge. And everything I have is Hillside View Forge, except for my YouTube channel. <laughs> and just because I do other stuff, and I didn't want, I didn't know whether to just go with just forging, you know, stuff. And uh, but just like you know, over here, I'm, I'm fixing a, uh, or just pretty much redoing a a trailer, you know, ramp. At, uh, or gate, however you want to call it. It's all bent to pieces, and I'm going to beef it up and work on it. And I do other stuff too, so I kind of wanted to just like, you know, forging on, uh, just like, you know, about forging, but also forging on in things that we do in life. So that's kind of why I went with that with my YouTube channel. <clears throat> anyway, I didn't know anything about, the, about blacksmithing um, back in my 20s. I learned how to weld and cut torches and fabricate some just on the job training. I've never had on, you know, schooling or anything like that, which I like to go, even go back, even as old as I am, I'd like to go back and get some, take some classes, especially for some TIG. I want to start doing some TIG welding. I've never done TIG welding. So I learned metalworking and did that for several years in my 20s. Uh, then when I went back to college to get my degree. I was 29 going on 30, I guess, and uh, uh, started working at a welding shop and did work at the welding shop and also went to school full time. <clears throat> and so, uh, so that helped, you know, with my welding and I did welding on the side, anything I could do to make money while I was in school. So then I got out and I, I do computer programming now, but I always liked working with metal. Even, I didn't care for the sinkhole fixing stuff I did in my 20s. But uh, I always liked working with metal. So uh, my first job out of college, I was working at uh, Nashville Electric Service. And there was a guy there that worked in the dispatch office named Doyle Neely. And a lot of people may know him. He was well known in our area anyway. He's been doing it, blacksmithing for years and years. He used to do uh, uh, reenactment stuff. So I can get that out. <clears throat> he could, used to do, uh, he, he, had, he had all the period clothes for you know, Civil War, Revolutionary War, whatever he needed to go do. And he had all the equipment to match up with it. So people was really in high demand for that kind of stuff. Uh, he just passed away a few years ago from cancer, unfortunately. But Doyle and we were talking and somehow we got on the subject of metal work and he says something about blacksmithing and I just never even knew anything about it. I mean, you know, that was something you know, he did with horses and shoes. And he invited me out to his house and this was 25 years ago or more than 25 years ago, he invited me to his house. They're having a big event there. And I went there and I watched them do demos and making some, some roses and flowers and, and all the work they did. And then I was hooked and I wanted to do it so bad. <clears throat> and, but you know, life was too busy. I was new in career and new with the family and new with everything and, and building a house and doing all this stuff. And I, you know, next thing I know, 20 years went by. So about, I guess close to five years ago, four and a half, five years ago, I went and uh, I just said, I'm just gonna go do it. And I went to the Rutherford County Blacksmith Association. And I, at this point, I still knew nothing about blacksmithing, community, people. Only person I knew was Doyle Neely. And then I got to know another guy named Joe Brown. And he said he went through this Rutherford County Blacksmith Association training 25 years ago or something. And he actually quit his job and he does it full time now. And so I, Talked to him, he just said it's what he went to learn. And so I said, ah, I need to go over there and learn. And so I did, and their green coal program goes through about 15 projects, self-paced, and you know, you have to get one right. You might do six or seven S hooks before you can move on to drive hooks or whatever you're doing, because you had to get the technique right. So it was a it was a real good learning experience. I was teaching for a while, but I just haven't had time recently. Now I'm, I'm getting over with my shoulder. It's not too bad now, but I'm supposed to wait another about another month before I actually start doing a lot. And then, uh, uh, but one thing I learned is, up there is everybody, whether they're full-time blacksmiths and that's their living, they will tell you and help you with anything you want to do. 
Um, there's two full-time blacksmiths that live almost equal distance from me. Uh, one's Joe Brown and the other's uh, Johnny Woolsey. And they, um, and if I have any question, I go to their, their shop and they'll just stop what they're doing and help me out. It's not like, oh, well, that's a trade secret. You're not going to learn that. No, they'll, they'll tell you whatever you want to know. They'll help you the best they can. And I go to the uh, the meetings at the Black, at our Blacksmith Sport, Ford shop, or then we got a parent level above us as Appalachian Area Chapter Blacksmiths, the AACB. I go to their meetings. We'll get just tons of people show up from all over, and uh, and they're all willing to help and show you stuff. Um, and it's just just amazing. And, and you know, group great group of guys and women, you know, men and women both. Um, up there and uh, they're all good and they all help you out and I try to return the favor I try to help people out where I can so that's kind of what blacksmith community means to me that's where I started I'm still just doing it part-time but uh, just wanted to pass that on and kind of give you my story how I started and I hope that I can keep doing this for you know many more years to come and you all have a blessed day talk to you later bye